video. Kathy and I start here and we go north on US 41 till we get to this intersection and we turn around and we come back down till we get outside of town and we turn around and come back to this intersection. Then we come down Joe Wright Road to 24th Avenue and we ride down 24th Avenue till we get to Pine Street and we go north on Pine Street till we get to the railroad track and we wanted to cross here but there was a train coming so we went down this road which is 13th Avenue to right about here and then we cut over and we go back on 14th Avenue to right here where the Burger King is. Hello everyone. Uh, recently, Kathy and I went to Cordell, and we videoed our trip there. And this is the second uh, video from that footage. The first one was our trip down US 280 and back. This is our trip up and down uh, US 41. We also go to some residential areas on 24th Avenue and 13th Avenue. We hope you enjoy this video. We appreciate you coming along for this trip. If you do enjoy the videos or enjoy videos like this, give us a thumbs up. And if you have subscribed to the channel, we thank you uh, very, very much. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, we invite you to do so. We ask that uh, if there's anything that you would like to share about Cordial, that you put it down in the uh, comment section of the video description. If you know of someone that likes travel videos, share this video with them. And Kathy and I wish you have a very, very blessed day. But just about all the business is out where we just rode from. Got another Dollar General up here, Georgia Department of Community Health. Here's the Dollar General. Is that where you come right there? Yeah, yeah, is back there. It's a, it's a good place to eat. A little mural on the side of that building said, Welcome to Court Eagle. The Government Center on the left. downtown area. Now, Cordial did have its own TV station for a while. I'm assuming it still does, but I just didn't see the, the building. The was in that one of those back downtown, but I didn't see the building. The, the sign. All the antiques and stuff. Yeah. Cordial City Hall. Kayla used to work there. Yeah, she, this fast stop, she used to work there, yes. They look like they do in the business. Yeah, they, they have good lunches there. Family Dollar looks like it's new since we were here last. Regional, yes. Well, it's not really a traffic circle, but I'm going to make it one.
No, the, the only thing out that way is the uh, farmers, market. farmers market. Yes, a medical building here. Yes. That must be where it's at. Yes, that's where it would be. Yes. See another train going across the road in a different direction. Gosh, they just got people lined up over here. Country cooking? Yes. No wonder. Chris County Courthouse on the left. It's a nice building. You know, we have a east, west, north, south train tracks in town. There's actually a railroad museum right around this corner, I think. This is where you get on the Sam Short Line. I couldn't really read it, honey, because I got my sunglasses on. But I got the cameras on, so. Another mural up here on the top of this building, you can hardly see it from here. It says, Welcome to Cordill. There's a uh, thrift store called Twice Treasured. Back in the day, I'm sure there was some. There was a sandwich shop, isn't it? Slamming yeah, slam Sammy's, yes. All yeah, that in a like, bag of chips. You can't believe what? What did that used to be? It's the Swan Hotel, and it they've turned it into shops and apartments. Kind of like the maid. Oh, it's apartments. And yes. Yes. Shops. Yes. Well, at least they're doing something with the building. Not yeah, that, they did that while I was living here, honey, back in the 90s, yes. It looks nice. I don't know what it looks yeah. like on the inside. Brian said this used to be the main thoroughfare through town to the interstate got here, so. And like a lot of other places, the interstate has hurt this part of town. Where Just about. One or two of them, some kind. Yeah, there's the here Gerald saw. Mm -hmm. Used to be fridge used to be somewhere in that shopping center, but you know all the fridge closed. They have a pretty good crowd over there, don't they? Yeah, there's another soul food place here called BJ's Diner. Mm -hmm. And here's the community center from the front. Ken's Pecan Company, you know, we passed through several large pecan orchards on the way here, so. Watermelons and pecans, honey. Mm -hmm. Got a King's Deli over there. I didn't mention that before. I don't know how much their watermelons are over here. But I, don't, I think it's closed, honey. I don't see a soul over there. We can go now. Just ride up to the edge of town that way and turn around and come back, honey. Mm
this all used to be a whole lot more business. You, you, you can see some of the buildings are closed. Yeah. Used to be a Chevy place out this way, and the, that that uh, Chrysler place that we passed on the way in used to be up here where the Napa store is. And you can see the back of the sign. That's that's a city limit sign. We'll go up there where I can turn around and come back. I think that's a city limit sign. And there's your VFW. VFW, yes. Right here in the And that looks like this. I don't know if that's open or not. Yeah, this place is closed. Where did it used to be? Do you have any idea? I, I don't remember. It was... It almost looks like a vet's office. Yeah. Or something. Could have been, honey, but I don't know. This red building across the road over there was a used furniture store. Gateway to South Georgia. Welcome to Cordell. Heavy duty truck parts and then the Napa store. That's a health department. Yes. Mike Frazier's Auto Repair. This this building used to be discount tires and wheels. Carburetor and ignition. And they got a bad cock. And then they have a mobile home supply place if you need something for your mobile home. Railroad track. Which way you going? I'm going to go back out to the edge of town and we'll decide what we're going to do from there, honey. My camera won't come on.
this overpass, they were having trouble with ambulances, you know, emergency vehicles getting around because mm -hmm. of the trains. Mm -hmm. And they built this over this railroad track. And on 5th Street, they built one over the railroad track there. So, yeah. They might have to go out of their way a little bit, but you know, they're not going to be held up very much by the train. A little residential section. Where we're going to ride through and come back, and then we'll get something to eat. Don't you think you want me? I just soon stop at Burger King and get a burger, honey, or something. You want a, bur a little burger? You a, a big, big burger, a bur little burger, something. You're getting a big one. I get, if you don't want that, just let me know. We'll pick out something else. Maybe I'll ride. Like a little Whopper Junior. Uh, That's what I want. Okay. You're getting a burger. That goes some more watermelon. Yeah, watermelons, watermelons. They're all over the place. I want a watermelon. I saw online where it was saying, you know, of course one end has got the stem on it. Mm -hmm. The other end, you know, that little big round thing there on the end, other end. If it's big, it's not really that sweet. But if it's a little tiny one, that means it's ready to eat and it's sweet. I'm going to start looking at that. Oh, here. great, honey. See, look. Look at them. They yeah. just had it with these railroad tracks, hadn't they? Yeah. This is a neighborhood. Yes, this is a different neighborhood. I can't remember the street. Goodness gracious, we got all kinds of people out here in the street. They playing in the water. This 
This is 13th Avenue. These are really old homes here, honey. Yeah. That's, that looks cute. Where we got too much stuff up there? That one. Look at that one. Yes. Well, that's going to be cute. Some people got them nice. Yes. 